Day 101. So after day 100, I took a, a couple days off and then started meditating up again and am, am feeling back in the zone and I'm making these videos again. I'm going to do another 100 consistently now. And I'm making these videos partly because I really, really get a lot out of it myself. Um, when I meditate two hours, I have so I, I go to such unknown territory that I've never been before, and there's not a lot of people that I can go to that are doing the work that same way, um, and and I don't want that anymore. I'm at a place where I need to talk to myself about what I'm experiencing and what this is, um, and making these videos for some reason is my favorite way to do it. To sit here and make videos. Um, seemingly for you when they're also completely, completely for me. It's amazing. Um, I experienced quite a bit of contrast in those few days that I didn't meditate and and I realized what that contrast is, is more of my judgment of what is. Really, it's my judgment of what was. You know, when I, when I go on Facebook and I see people and they're just complaining about a politician or they're mad about something or they're just talking about angrily about what, what's going on or what happened, it dawned on me they're not even talking about what is in the world because I believe everything going on in the external world is much more what was than what is. In other words, the things that are going on right now, like for instance, okay, here's a set of keys right here. Well, these were already made. Someone made these. This is the result of someone creating and making that. And at the time of the creation, these keys were coming from what is. They're an idea that's always coming out. So right now, inside me, there's cutting edge things showing up. There's what I'm saying right now is what is, but by the time it's out, I've already said it. It's what was. It's now out as far as my perceptions concerned, right? And this is all of our perceptions because the only thing that we have control over is what is, not what was. Yes, I could change these keys and I could throw them out or do something about it or whatever. But when I take, if I took these keys and I went, ugh. These keys are so annoying. I'm so annoyed with these keys. I'm taking what was, and in this moment when I could be creating something amazing, I'm in resistance to what was, and I'm making what was what is again. I'm getting more of what is. And we live in this place where we look at all the stuff that's already happened. All the stuff in the world is the result of our creation. It's what we created, right? So... When we get mad about what we created, we're creating more of it. We're looking at all this stuff in the world and we're going, I can't, I can't believe that and I can't believe this person said this. And we're taking what's already been created and arguing with it and talking about it and creating more of the same. So when you have something, when you have a bad day and you completely spend the day complaining about the bad day, you have another day of the bad day because you think about what was and in this moment of all new what is, you, your what is is to take what was and relive it again. So when people get mad about stuff um, I understand it's good to go through your feelings, it's good to go through all that stuff, but a lot of times we don't realize that we're on the cutting edge of what is every second. And instead of being mad about what was, let's create what we do want by staying on the edge of our soul and allowing ourselves to be at the cutting edge of what truly is. And what is is, are you okay with this moment or are you not? That's a big question that most of us don't realize that we're so in resistance to what was that we're in an argument with what's going on right now and what is can't even come through. Think about how many things we all have inside of us in our past, in our thoughts, in our belief about ourselves, in our worthiness that we aren't okay with. 
There's things in our past that happened in our childhood. There's things that we aren't okay with. That's understandable. But we only have this moment. And in this moment, if you keep being mad or in resistance to yourself about something that happened, you're not getting to access all of yourself because you're still in a fight or fight place, fight or flight place at a war with what is because you're still looking at what was and you're re-suffering over and over and over again. It's chaos, it's insanity, and right now what you're hearing is me creating a new what is. And by the time you see it, it can hopefully help you access your what is, but this video will be a what was for me. And that's why I just keep creating new as much as I can because all we are is creative beings and we need to access our creativity or we get the opportunity to access our creativity by letting go of what was, by accepting what was, by releasing what was. It's already happened. These keys are here. They're going to be here. It's up to me if I want to argue with that they're here or not. I don't mean get rid of them. I could get rid of them after I accept that they're here. But many people look at what is and they deny that it's there. Like, that guy treated me that way in the past. That's a fact. Do you want to accept that that happened, or do you want to keep being in denial about that happened so you can't even look that in the eye? When you finally can look it in the eye, you can talk to the person, you can confront them, you can forgive them, you can let go of them, whatever. But until you admit to yourself and you accept that this happened, you won't have all of you available to look that issue in the eye. You're just going to be in an argument with what happened. And every once in a while, I have little pains of what was, or my belief about my worthiness, or my story about me grab onto my heart. And I can meditate, and I notice it show up, and I notice myself expand, and I notice this expansion happen. And all these little things start to be obvious and separated, and I start to accept this moment more and more and more. <clears throat> and I make room again for a new level of possibility. But there's a lot of things in this world that aren't the way that we would like it. So instead of arguing with it and being mad that it exists and being crazy people just arguing with that it exists, let's accept that it exists it doesn't mean live with it. It doesn't mean bring it into our lives, but let's accept that it exists so that we can access in ourself full acceptance in order to be a space of full creativity and create what we do want. Create a new what is and allow a constant new what is to happen. And then we also just lose the habit of being obsessed with what was all the time. And we can allow ourselves to become obsessed with what is. I don't care about what's going on in the world because I want to change it by bringing out the highest form of me and bringing out a new what is. And there's a result from that. There's new people that are doing this too. I get emails all over the place from people and this is what was, but I'm talking about it right now and I'm creating this, this vision for you, but I get these emails all the time from people that are now accessing their what is and losing their obsession with what it was. And if we all start to move to what is right here, just this edge of our heart, this feeling that's coming through, <clears throat> then the what was will be beautiful and suffering will end. And you can end your suffering right now by just looking at your what is in a lot of situations. Yes, obviously, if someone's physically hurting you or I understand that. And yes, if you can watch this video, you are very fortunate to be able to even have the Internet and a computer and everything. But we're so scared to just feel ourselves a little bit that we'd rather be totally obsessed with what was and try to control all the stuff that we can't control and absolutely ignore this calling that's coming through all day. This is why I'm going to continue my 100 days because I want to always live on the edge of what is 
making a video every day is very easy and it gets me closer and closer and closer to my being connected to my creative bug that just creates, creates, creates and not being obsessed with what was anymore. I'm not saying it's bad to be. You can be obsessed with it. Sometimes being obsessed in a good way, being accepting of what was, will access even more of your what is. Like, like I love that these keys are here. I want to make more keys is a whole different thing. So the first thing we got to do is end our resistance to what was, to access our what is. And if we don't end our resistance to what was, we will get more of what was because we are angry about what was and that's the only thing we're going to be focused on and that's the only thing we're going to create more of. So in your body right now you have the creative ability all the time it's happening you're always in what is but we've been obsessed with what was and it's time to become more and more obsessed with our what is and change the world by not making our what is what was and instead bringing our what is into the world and the world will start to result and because the world is just a mirror of what you're creating inside and the world has been a mirror of what all of us have been creating on the inside and if we choose to create from our what is we'll give millions and billions of other people permission to create from theirs and we'll change the world really 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 fast i promise day 101